All right, all right, all right. Here's one that's kind of got me a little bit on a tilt. Mm -hmm. When Pharaoh was commanded to, quote-unquote, let my people go. Right. Was Pharaoh already pre-programmed in the Bible to go to hell because he kind of disobeyed God? Did he have any kind of, you know... Because I think it said somewhere is that he, God hardened his heart so that yeah you know other things could take place. Right. What's the deal with that? What if Pharaoh said, "You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to let your people go. Here you go." Mm-hmm. Then what? <laughs> <laughs> so to so to make sure to understand, I ask your question. To, what your question is? Because I got to take my medicine as I answer this. Um, your question is that um, did God? Uh, predetermine um the yes. fate of the pharaoh yes okay so i make sure i get that because i'm taking my earphones out as i go to answer this so um when it comes to that yeah the bible talks about several passages where it says that he hard that the pharaoh's uh heart was hardened and that was the first step which then shows that the pharaoh then hardened his own heart uh being the second step followed by another hardening from god so we have these passages where – hold up. I'm going to take my marriage. I'm going to throw myself on mute because the, the lightning and the thunder outside is really loud. And you know what's really great about that quote? Uh, if you've ever seen uh, the movie The Prince of Egypt, there's a part of the song where Ramsey is, is singing, and he says, Then let my heart be hardened, and never mind how high the cost may grow. Rough. Yep. Uh, so good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so I know you're talking about. Yeah, and that part's the the second phase there. But yep. yeah, the but about. yeah, but he but the Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and that was basically because God had hardened it so that no matter what would happen, because he told because remember Moses is told to go and tell him to do it, and if not, then there will be these plagues. And he does it to demonstrate the wrath of God upon a wicked nation that refuses to heed to uh, God's commands, to God's word. And so whenever this final thing happens and it's gotten to the breaking point, yeah, he lets the people go only to then try to go about and chase them because his heart is so hardened with rage as well that he is apparently not going to really let the people go. He's going to either enslave what he can or he just kills whatever he can find, as we can see with the intention that they've had. Even like the the slaves themselves saw that kind of fear where he says, did you bring us here, Moses, just so you can uh have so we can have a place that uh be our new graves egypt wasn't enough for us now we got to die here um all and right so, so so i mean if th- this was obviously this was god's plan because yeah. if if pharaoh didn't harden his heart none of this would take place right do you think possibly god gave him a free pass he's like hey look you done this solid for me and this is if you didn't do this, none of my word would happen. Here's a free pass. You're 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 accepted into heaven. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think that uh, he would let people that have disobeyed his, disobeyed God and not repented um, enter into. Because remember, at the same time as I tried pointing out uh, a couple questions earlier, that back in that time period, there was no going into heaven. Or going into hell at that point, there was either you're in Sheol in the righteous area or the wicked area. You were only in the righteous area if you had submitted to God, followed the law, and you know adhered to what He had commanded of you. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And so, um, because the Pharaoh did not do that, and in his uh, wicked anger, uh, planned to kill these people that were God's chosen people. Um, and disobey what had been you know because he said let the people go this is the word of the lord let him let them go and not only does he you know uh go back on his word to try to go and get them but possibly even kill them and commit murder um upon god's chosen people so now if there was a situation where this that he just let them go or he you know allowed them and, and repented that would have been the moment that he would have at least been in the righteous component of Sheol. But in this particular case, he didn't. 
Um, and that's what the reality is. And that's what the fact is, is that in what we have in this reality that has occurred and that has already past tense happened, you know, the Pharaoh had, you know, tried to go after them and he went back on his word uh, to Moses and he suffered the fate of that when trying to go after them whenever he and those particular Egyptians that went after them drowned in the Red Sea. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know what? That that does make sense. Thank you. Hey, no problem, man. Thank you for the question. 